Hello and welcome. My name is Todd Hutchison and in this session I want to talk about Australia's government's intelligence organisations. Now there are a lot of government entities that collect intelligence, from the Bureau of Statistics, Law Enforcement, Corrective Services, Foreign Emergency Services and even entities like the Australian Taxation Office who are now doing data mining analysis, so they're collecting a lot of electronic data intelligence for taxation purposes. So in this session, however, I'm going to try and just concentrate on the six known Australian-wide intelligence organisations that solely do intelligence work. Therefore, I'll be excluding those doing intelligence as a subset of their agency's functions, such as police intelligence with their CIB or Criminal Investigation Branch activities. Now for context setting here, as intelligence organisations, they are expected to be a bit secretive. So you'll have a fair bit of information you can get about them on their website, including career pathways for anyone looking for employment. In this short session, my aim is not to explain their full or legislative purpose or detailed functions. Rather, I'll be looking at a very basic overview of what they are called and their high level view of what they focus on. So apologies up front for the broad information I will be providing. Well, I'll start with the entity the primary informs the Prime Minister and the Australian Cabinet. That offers a form of conduit for intelligence information relevant to our political leaders, known as the ONI, which is the Office of National Intelligence. It attempts to consolidate information from the different intelligence agencies, collectively referred to as the NIC, or National Intelligence Community as well as looking at key diplomatic roles and relationships they have with other politicians and other world leaders. And they look at more open source intelligence or publicly available intelligence, like from the television and radio news. And this helps to understand the global affairs that are affecting Australia. Well, the most publicly known Australian intelligence entity is ASIO, which stands for the Australian Security Intelligence Organisation. Interestingly, they actually sanctioned an official history publication recently about their establishment and their function, which is kind of interesting for an intelligence organisation, but a great read and highly recommended. But the simple way to understand what they do is to know that they look at the domestic security threats that impact inside Australia's homeland. It functions to protect government agencies, defence facilities, Australian businesses and citizens from any attack. Whilst they look with inside the boundaries, it is ACES, which stands for the Australian Secret Intelligence Service, that is our overseas focused spy agency. It is the Australian version of the America's CIA or Central Intelligence Agency. NASA's primary role is to obtain and communicate intelligence relevant to the threats of Australia from outside, meaning from overseas. This may also include information relevant that helps policymakers make decisions and their officers, well, they're often allowed to be armed. Moving to the military intelligence entities, well, the first one to mention is DIO, which stands for the Defence Intelligence Organisation. Their website kind of says it all. Australian government's source of expertise for matters relating to global security, weapons of mass destruction, foreign military capabilities, defence economics, and transnational terrorism. How cool is that? It includes general intelligence that covers foreign military, political, social and cultural development, as well as scientific intelligence that covers chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear issues. And lastly, technical intelligence that includes weapon systems and defence technologies. Another military entity is the ASD, which is the Australian Signals Directorate, formerly known as the Defence Signals Directorate. This is the Australian version of the America's NSA, or National Security Agency. Now both of these entities, by the way, are military intelligence organisations. But our one, well it's technology focused and its motto is reveal their secrets, protect our own. And they are about mastering technology to inform, protect and disrupt. And I also love their website text that said, ASD operates within the slim area between the difficult and the impossible, mission impossible type of stuff. Yet another military entity is the AGO. Notice they don't put intelligence, the I, in the acronym AGO, but it stands for the Australian Geospatial Intelligence Organisation. And it provides a collection agency for imagery and geospatial intelligence for Australia's defence and national interests. Now there are bound to be other agencies, however they're just too secret or unknown to even share. 
but the ones discussed are the Australian government's promoted intelligence agencies. And as an Australian, I'm very proud of their collective work. Well, I hope this has been somewhat helpful to getting a bit of an insight into the six federal level government entities that work in the intelligence space for the protection of the country, Australians, and of course, our residents and visitors.